I have to want this to exist in the world. I have to not, so it's a similar rule, just say, if this was successful and I had nothing and I got no, and I was not involved and I got no money off it or wasn't, would I want it to do well? And that's a great check, I think, to know if you really feel good about the idea and, and can be passionate about it. One of the things I advise entrepreneurs to do is when you have an idea, so the, a classic entrepreneurial impulse is to hold the idea close to you and not go tell people because, oh, the idea is so special. Right. That's almost always a mistake. Hmm. Go talk to Why every, is that a mistake? Yeah. It's a mistake because your actual real competitive advantage is not that you have this idea that you have locked away in your closet, which may or may not be accurate and you have no idea which it is. Uh, your, your actual competitive advantage is if you're assembling the intelligence around does this idea work, what is the right team, mm. what is the right learnings, and we're essentially in motion. The hardest thing to do is start. Um, you have all these ideas and everyone has an idea, but it's really about executing the idea and building the idea and attracting other people to help you work on the idea. That is the biggest challenge. But the, the way to begin is to get the idea out of your head, draw it out, you know, um, talk about it, program it if you're a programmer, or make it if you're building something. Like you don't have to be the best, but you have to be dangerous, right? You have to learn just enough to be dangerous to build an idea, concept it, and show it to the world. And then it turns out there are lots of other people, including all 170 employees that work at Instagram, who are much better at doing all that stuff than I am. But you need to find people who can, you know, be drawn to the idea that you build, and and then they end up taking it and um, and making it even better. You know, one way to conceptualize what makes a good product is, you know, good engineering is part of it, good design is part of it. But really, it's um, one way I think about it is at least is uh, maximizing the probability that someone shows up at the front door of, you know, your store or your website or or whatever it is, and, and ends up with a solved problem. Mm -hmm.